And so the the new the rule of course will impact all institutions of federal funding, all educational institutions that receive federal funding, including K through 12. Um, as you know, a lot of our supporters and membership base are parents who are, you know, really concerned about some of the changes that are happening in education. Um, one of the things that we get a lot of questions about from parents is around compelled pronoun use, where there are students at their kid's school who may be transgender or experiencing gender dysphoria and ask to be called by a new set of chosen pronouns. Um, how will this, the, the final rule, impact that conversation and how those kids will um, interact with one another at school? The honest answer is it's not clear. This is a lawyer full employment act. Uh, gender identity is not defined. Sex-based discrimination is not defined. Um, I think it's uh, it's very well to. I mean, I think I think it's right to be afraid that if you uh, use the wrong pronouns or otherwise say something that is misconstrued, or you know, when you're a kid, you say something you're not exactly talking with the precision of a well-trained lawyer, uh, and that will get you into this kangaroo court situation uh, of uh, you know punishments, investigations where you're not even. Uh, allowed to see the evidence uh, against you. It really is bizarre. Like I said, it'll chill speech among students uh, between you know teachers being afraid of how will something they say in health class say or, or otherwise will be perceived, uh, let alone uh, some of the activists uh, once you get to higher education uh, comes in.